For the first time, we are hearing from a man who survived being shot in the head while driving on Interstate 59 in Birmingham. His wife was in the car with him. It happened this summer. Good evening. I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Jack Royer. Tonight, that man is calling for an end to gunfire near busy roadways. Just days after police found a man shot in his car after a wreck with another vehicle on a port of Madrid. Tonight, CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark is speaking to the victim about that life changing moment. Yeah, Marcus Malden had just picked up his wife in August to head home to see their two small children when he was shot through the window on the highway. Police don't think he was the intended target, but tonight he's reminding us that bullets don't have a name. The bullet went in right here and stopped right here. Near the Birmingham airport on Interstate 59 this summer. I'll always have these scars. This husband and father of two was shot in the head as he drove with his wife. It was like a blur after that. I remember having my foot on the brake telling my wife, you know, put the car in park. For about a week, Marcus Malden remained at UAB Hospital away from his children. Didn't know if I was going to be able to be here for my wife and kids, you know, and didn't know if I was going to be able to support them or be if I was going to be able to walk and function and talk again. Police called the shooting random. There have been other instances this year where intended targets were shot in cars. Police believe Douglas White was targeted before he was killed Tuesday, found shot in a car that wrecked on a Porto Madrid Boulevard. But Malden knows all too well that bullets don't have a name. Innocent bystanders like me, if you shoot at somebody, it don't, don't, don't mean you're going to hit that person. I got two young kids. I mean, that could have kept them from having a dad the rest of their life, my wife from having a husband. Malden says he still occasionally has trouble with his memory, but not a day goes by that he doesn't remember how fortunate he is. I don't deserve to still be here, you know, then sometimes I think, you know, I'm blessed to still be here. Because I know there's people a lot better than me in the world, and I know there's a lot worse people than me in the world, but I'm blessed to still be here for my wife and kids. And Malden says he's still adjusting his sleep schedule since he was released from the hospital. He's hoping to reconnect with the two paramedic teams who helped him that day. Police never listed any suspect or suspect vehicle in Malden's case. In the studio, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News local coverage you can count on.